evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. Welcome to the launch party this evening for the Thread of Gold Beads. Are you excited to be here? Oh, certainly I am. Very much so. Can you take a few minutes to introduce yourself, please? Well, I'm um, Dr. Peters. Um, that's... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> and I understand that you'll be giving in the opening remarks. Yes, I mean, that's, that's a very simple task. Um, just talk for about five minutes. The big, the big job is actually reviewing the book, and that's, that's somebody else's task. So my, I've got a very simple task just to introduce her, give the opening remarks, and then set, we set the ball rolling. Well, wonderful. I'm really excited to have you here. What are you looking forward to this evening and then also for the book? Well, I mean, um, I, I, I hope that the book will do well. I mean, being a first attempt, I mean, that will be like a motivation for her to get to um, do, uh, do uh, actually write a second novel, a second book. And so I, I, my, my hope for her is that um, this it kicks off the, the event properly and that the book does do well. Uh, in terms of sales and then that motivates her to write a second one. Wonderful and have you had an opportunity to see the trailer or anything? Um, no, but I I, um, I had a brief look at the book itself because I had a copy of the I had a proof and um, uh, um, it, it, it looks like a very interesting book, historical fiction. Uh, I haven't read it completely but I, I have a sense of what it's, what it's about and it's, it seems interesting. Well, and why do you think the genre, like historical fiction, is important from an African perspective? Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, I mean, from an African perspective, I mean, you know, um, Africa has a very, very rich history. And um, we need to be able to tell that history. Um, and not just, not just from an academic perspective, but also in, in fictional terms so that people can read it and, and, and get to I mean, Because when you read it, you get to know about Lagos, you get to know about Dahomey. So where's, where's, that, where's that country? Where's it? What part of the world is it? So you get to know about such, such things. And, uh, it, I mean, that, and that is from reading what is essentially fiction. But tell, it tells you a lot about history as well. So it, it's from an African from that, from that perspective, it's very good. Yes, I think you raised some really, really great points, especially here in, in America. I think that's a story that's not often told, so, so it's really exciting. Well, thank you for your time this evening. Thank you very much. So I'll see you a little later this evening. Certainly you will. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I have the pleasure of being with the mother of the author of Thread of Gold Beads. I'm so excited to speak with you, Mommy. I'm excited too. And so I'm sure you're really proud of your daughter. What are you most excited about as far as this project is concerned? Nika has been a loving, exciting child from birth. She loves writing, reading. And right from the early age, she listens to stories from her grandmother and grandfather who encourage her to delve much into writing. And stories about her great-grandmother led to this. Amelia in the story is my own great-grandmother. Yeah. That's a secret that we didn't know. I'm glad I got to speak with you this. So do you think it's accurate? <laughs> mm, a little bit of fiction, not exactly accurate, but a lot came from the stories she had about her great great grandmother. Yeah. Wonderful. And why do you think this is an important story for us to hear, no matter where you're from? Because it tells about love and how to cope with life and succeed. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time this evening, Mommy. We're so glad that you're here. We know that you're certainly proud of your daughter this evening. I am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I have the fine pleasure of being with... Mr. Fatuki. And you are... The husband of Nick Campbell Fatuki. Wonderful. And I know you must be really excited for your wife and this project. What, what are you most excited about? I'm just excited that she was able to pull through. You know, it's been years coming. She's done a very uh, good job with the book. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the book will inspire many. And uh, I'm really proud of her. Um, she's done a real good job. I'm glad that it's actually come to fruition. Wonderful. We're really excited about this story. And how long has this taken? I know you've had to be really supportive and she's been working behind the scenes. Are there any little secrets you can share with us this evening? 
Well, I know it's taken about six years, she tells me. Um, Secrets, the only thing is she's very passionate about it, and I'm glad that she stuck through it and got it done. Um, the, the secret is I, I, I think now I just really appreciate the hard work she did. I don't know if I told her as much, but uh, you know, she really made me proud. Good job. Oh, very good. Now, is there anything that you can tell us, little maybe secret you can drop for us in, in advance of um, the book being sold? Well, um, from what I see, she's already sold several copies, and um, a lot of people are showing interest in the storyline, and um, people that have read it or have read clips of it are so excited about what the story is all about. And the story does make a lot of sense. It's a story that is very close to her, and I, and I think that other people will really be truly inspired by it. And what are you going to do with your first million? Ah, I haven't thought that far. But I... <laughs> what a question. I guess, uh, well, let's, I, I just truly want to enjoy today. I really want people to be inspired by the book. And everything that comes after that, I believe, will be a true blessing of the hard work that she's put into it. So, I, I guess one step at a time. And uh, we'll... We'll focus on the millions when when all the other T's are crossed and I's are dotted. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks, Miss Nancy Lollico. Thank you. Sure. Good evening. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? I'm fine. And just in case you don't know, I am with Nike Campbell Fatoki, and this is the mastermind behind this wonderful novel. So, tell me, what was your inspiration? My inspiration was actually my grandmother. Um, she told me stories about her grandmother when she was growing up. And her grandmother actually came from Benin Republic. And she was one of the many, many children of King Behazen. And she told me of how she fled a war-torn country at that time. And now she fled into Abe Okuta and then Lagos, Nigeria. So that was how I spun the tale of Thread of Gold Beads. So it, it's an insp my grandmother's inspiration to me. So. We're really excited about this. And so why is this an exciting story to share outside of the diaspora? Because you're launching this event here in the United States, for starters. So um, why is it exciting or important for people to know about it? This story is not just about Africa. It's about the human spirit. Every human being goes through periods of loss, of suffering, and there's also periods of hope. So my book is to tell people that though you're going through tough times, there'll be times when hope is restored. And that's the message of the story. You will lose sometimes, but then hold on to hope because joy is coming in the morning. That's basically the message I have to give through the story. Sounds like a great message. So you'll be on Oprah's um, book club list. <laughs> that's what we're looking forward to. Amen. And much more, hopefully. So. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for your so time. Nancy, take care. God bless. <laughs> Bye.